Hey everyone, thanks for joining. So Blossom came early. So due to a presumable error on the developer side, we have received a new Blossom unit very early, about a month to two months ahead of the schedule, uh, which I know some people are upset about, um, but I'm personally actually welcome these errors as one, it benefits all player base and not you know, disadvantage anyone. And two, you know, there's a surprise element, and that's a pleasant surprise. I think we've been having fun with the new Blossom units. Um, there are 15 in total, the Blossom, new Blossom units, and uh, because they are advanced, you know, our races are particularly uh, limited, so you might be wondering which units are worth considering. Um, I wanted to do this more for myself as an analysis, and then also, uh, I'm based on that, want to create a guide for you guys. So in the content, I'll be talking about the Blossom units. I'll be talking about upcoming PVE and my answers on should you Blossom questions. The 15 Blossom units were supposed to come out in batch of three batches, but I think we all got all of them. Uh, and I do want to draw your attention to upcoming PV content, which relates to these Blossom units. And that PV content is called Blossom Rose. Uh, you've seen this before with slime, etc. Um, but with this, with the with the new new units, uh, there's supposed to be a five Blossom Rose coming, which are a little bit more difficult contents than usual uh, battle rose. So um, I want to just talk about uh, about that a little bit. So each of these kind of five new battle rows, you can only use specific units. But all, on top of that, you get uh, exclusive rewards, um, the, in, the, in this case, in, in individual equipment. And these equipments are actually type locked uh, to a certain uh, monster type. So let's look at one by one. So Stark Raven Row uh, is uh, added, and then it will be uh, it, you'll be able to obtain a claw that's locked to nature. And this one's really good for agility in general, but also has a good can be rolled for breath. So again, this one's really good for a Jamminus, for example. Orochi Road reward will be uh, uh, armor, and uh, you know it's a good one for HP for all, all dragons, but it can be you know roll for a uh, wash resistance as well. A uh, Ghost Road will reward you with a robe, uh, which is a zombie locked. Uh, it can give you high wiz or agility, uh, or, or can be rolled for a uh, sis resistance. And um, this one's actually least interesting of, of, of the five. Um, as there aren't really, really useful uh, zombie type units, uh, maybe Godwin only, but uh, kind of niche um, as it doesn't fit right now. Uh, Mimic Row will reward you with an in in inorganic locked hammer, which can be rolled for a high attack or, or physical uh, potency. Um, so this one is really good for all inorganics, physical inorganics, and the phys you know in organic types is coming back in a current uh, machine fest in Japan. So I think a nice one to farm as soon as it comes out. The hammered head road will reward you with a claw, which is a, a beast lock claw. Um, as you can imagine, it's an agility based uh, mostly, but also can be rolled for a martial. Which one's kind of which is kind of quite rare, I would say, the com rare combination. Uh, so I think this was really great for Vera. So I'm really most looking forward to this one in particular. Create another page which also adds the um, the potential passives that you could roll for uh, in, in a rainbow um, rainbow rarity, uh, just as a reference. So now the question is: Yeah, these uh, battle rows are coming probably in a month or two months time. Uh, the question we are asking is, you know, how do we clear this? Which units are required? So I've looked at the, some of the example clear guys um, and then, you know, want, wanted to figure out the least possible, you know, blossom, you know, what, what, could, we, what could we get away with? So uh, looking one by one, Stark Raven, I found uh, a clear guide with uh, just Stark Raven and, and all blossom units. So I think this one is should, you should be able to get past it quick easily if you got all of those units you see on the screen that blossomed and orochi road um if you have malroth um then the only other one you need is orochi orochi is obviously a must must blossom uh and other two old blossom units now alternatively for people who don't have malroth i saw some guys with overkilling machines so overkilling machine might be a consideration if you are purely just looking for blossom for potential future blossom roads
the ghost uh it comes with a ro robe and uh yeah it's the units are not you know relevant to the current blossom you you know just blossom units we just received uh but the main important was valencia there was no clear without valencia so if you don't have valencia we can park this and it's not much a loss because as i said robe isn't really interesting at uh, least interesting of the out of five the Mimic Road will give you, as I said, a hammer. And for this one, you need to blossom Nimzo. And you don't have to um, blossom uh, Musifer, but uh, you know, it, this alternative is this pink silver silver uh, monkey, whatever it is called. Um, so he's an old blossom unit. So if you got him uh, fully blossom, then use him. But otherwise, you know, Musifer is probably worth considering. For Hammerhead Road. Um, Helion's needed, uh, and then in a particular clear guide, they use um, Saruman Slayer, uh, and so on and so forth. If you don't have Sarah the Man Slayer at High Awakening, there were I saw some guys with Kaleido Cat and the Geist, so you might want to consider blossoming those, particularly for this Blossom Door clear. So that covers Blossom Rose. So I want to give you, um, you know, the guys to which one to blossom. You should blossom uh, and a kind of usefulness rating. Um, so whether to blossom, I think, as I said, should be considered two elements. One is, is it required for a Blossom Road? And is it useful in the art general contents? So let's look at one by one. Uh, S-Rank, which is a, kind of the highest rarity. Uh, Overkilling Machine can be useful. Uh, as I said, if you don't have Malroth, um, but it's not essential. Um, his usefulness in general is uh, three out of five, which is mostly coming from PVE. He's an excellent freeze damage dealer, um, and I'm really, really good on the turn two um, as well. But really dies easily um, in the in the current very power creep meta. Uh, he can uh, he do especially be good against a mage uh, because he has a, ma a magic resistance. Uh, Emperor Slime, just not worth even talking about it, unfortunately. Um, gets a kind of a Zoma like uh, magic damage, but not great. Kaleido Cat, um, his damage isn't very low, but he's a rare charm, you know, option. He's an option to charm, uh, which is a low probability, but I think it's rare, so I kind of rate him two out of five. Dragon, not even worth talking about, easy to skip. And uh, Nimzo, uh, he's. He's, um, I don't know, spellcasters are kind of really in a difficult position right now in the game. But as I say, he is needed for uh, Blossom Rose, so maybe worth considering. I'll probably be blossoming myself. I'm rating him three out of five because, you know, you, you know, possibly we could be seeing him more in a JP, guys. Now he's got the uh, revamp. Um, great troll. Um, he's not required for any of the Blossom Roads, but he's. I think he's the you know probably the most useful of the batch, uh, all the fifth, all fifteen, uh, in that he can make your Blossom Door clears on a later stage really easy, uh, like forty five or forty six uh, clear in three turns. Um, some of these stages used to take you know fifteen turns, etc. So it's a it's a tremendous power creep. But yeah, he fits in. If it fits in some PV stages, he fits really really great. Let's look at A and B rank blossom units. So Orochi is um, uh, definitely I'm going to blossom. He's uh, required for a blossom road, uh, Orochi road, and he's I think his usefulness is kind of best of the batch on A, A and B rank, in that uh, he has a high da damage on the breath and the physical, um, and the only thing that he's down you know is low, uh, lacking is the the range. So. You know, that still continues, but I think for considering A rank and the dam damage, he's very good. The Geist, uh, he can be useful. Um, he's always been useful in, in, the, in the snooze options. You might have a tool, uh, say, Fertile to as a dual kind of CC options. Uh, he doesn't change in that manner. Uh, he just does everything uh, in an improved way, uh, but you still probably end up just using snooze and lose that unit in, in RTA, for example. So... I don't see him as crucial in Blossom. Um, he's as useful as is before and after. Uh, King Slime, I don't know what they did with this. Um, I don't know what they tried to do with it. Um, it's not to total nonsense, and it's a real shame because he's a very popular character in the DQ series. So really disappointed that he's, um, he's a Blossom is trash. Robin Udom, um I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend um, blossoming him. I checked his damage. It's e very low, even if you can pull off the entire uh, full buffs, and that's really difficult to pull off. But I do like the interesting um, um, kind of mechanics that he's got. 
the Musifer, he can be, um, he's a very good uh, kind of MBB, uh, mega boss battle oriented unit. Uh, and if the stars align, it can do tons of bang resistance debuff in the mega boss battle, which is, uh, as you saw in the uh, Sara Manslayer, and it's useful. Um, but, you know, has an improved bang DPS as well in general. So I think, you know, personally, I'm going to be blossoming Orochi and Musifer out of the, out of the, these. Um, and then let's look at the last um, the C and the below ranks, uh, low ranks uh, uh, Blossom units. So the first one is a Stark Raven. Um, is it required for a Blossom role? Yes, it is. So you definitely want to Blossom him with that. Um, is he useful? I think he's very useful in that he doesn't do much, but just generally F rank the weight five and then he can move four spaces is uh, is is good enough um and if your ghost is loaded with i say sleep or confuse or um whatever whatever cc options already then you don't want to wipe them then i think star raven is great for a support now if you are doing say snooze then you do want to use put that on, on ghost but like say if you want to put defuddle for example then star raven is a good fit for that because he doesn't need a you know, he doesn't have a, a good follow-up as, as Ghost does. So I think you know, that's how I'm going to use him and I'm going to blossom him. Uh, Bubble Slime, he, I put him right in 2 out of 5. Um, might have a very small niche against Zenlon. Uh, he does a kind of um, reactive poison, uh, and, and venom uh, that triggers in, in instantly, which is really good. So it can do a kind of chunky damage on, on Zenlon, 25%. Um, but just to use him for that, uh, I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, it's a very niche, but it might be a possibility. Um, and then, you know, it's only E rank, so I might consider blossoming him. Shadow is kind of like a mini duel, I guess. And uh, he's if, you, if he's placed in front of a unit, it avoids unit being pulled forward by like so Sara the Manslayer. Uh, but it's only 40% invasion. But I think I'm considering it given that he can pass through different obstacles and block in enemy's way, etc. So it could be useful in that manner. Um, um, Chimera is, uh, yeah, he's a kind of the first uh, PV of, you know, like a healer, AOE healer on the D rank and below. So that's a quite an interesting element. Um, and it's nice to have that. Uh, heal mount is, is is mediocre. Um, I just don't see a content that's where we need them right now. But in future PV contents where weight is important for like a you know AOB and all our battles, uh, he might be um, might be good. So yeah, so very but super niche. So you know he can park it until later. So of this list, I would definitely blossom some star I already have uh, the rest that I think I'm just gonna park until I need them. And that's it for the video. Thanks for joining. If you found this useful, please do like the video and also subscribe if you haven't. That really helps me make this video in the future. Thank you.